I like to always say we're probably Texans before we are anything else. Texas is so big and so vast, and it has so much to offer to everyone. My memories of my childhood are being with my family at what we call the farm. My family um, had a small ranch where we were ranchers, and we also um, we hunted and we fished. Some of it was really tough work, but for the most part, we were making memories. My parents were very strict and very demanding, but I look back and it gave me a chance at the rest of my life. But I wanna also say that while I think my childhood, there couldn't have been a better one, um, you know, tragedy uh, struck my family uh, when I was 16 and my dad was killed in a car wreck. I'll never forget when they told me my dad was dead and I was shocked and I, I, I said, what's gonna happen to us? And my mother shook me and she said the most important words in my life, we will make it. Through that whole thing, I watched how tough my mother was uh, holding the family together, and I saw the determination in the eyes of a grieving wife have that kind of strength, and that's from really a pioneer woman. It's not what I would wish for anyone, but it has made me a stronger person. You're not a victim of society. The Lord has a plan, and that was His plan and you make it through those tough times. And I think that's what Texas women are all about. Not to crater, but to meet those challenges. And that's just in our DNA. To find some talent, to find some fiber in your body that you didn't know you had, that you can do it. Again, that goes back to my upbringing and my view of what Texans are. We're tough and, and we fight hard. I consider myself a red state woman because my upbringing, my heritage, kind of being from a family that had pioneer women in it and strong women, 